Hello viewers, this is Dr. Fast here. In today's video, I will show you how to update the firmware on your Uniden R3 radar detector. Now recently, Uniden came out with a new version, which is 1.48. Now the one I have on mine is rather old. I'm running version 1.37. So I thought this would be a good time for me to show you how to update it. Now before I get started, let me show you how to check the version you have on your R3. I'm going to power this up. Once it's powered up, press menu, menu. and press a volume minus button a couple of times until you get to the version. As you can see, it's version 1.37. Now to do the update, you do need a USB cable with a mini USB connector like this one you see right here. And this will plug into the side of the unit right over here. Now make sure this cable will support both charging and data. Next, open a browser on your computer and go to the address you see right here, support.uniden.com forward slash radar dash detectors. On this page, scroll down. You'll see the FAQ. Select firmware. You want to follow the instructions at the top right here to update your unit to version 1.48. First, you'll need to power off the radar detector, which I've done already. Then connect the unit to your PC using the USB cable. Now the USB driver might download automatically, but if it doesn't, you can manually download the USB driver. That's on step three, right here. On step four, download the software download tool and firmware for your Uniden radar detector. Mine's R3, I'll select R3. And here's a downloaded file, extract it. And here are the extracted files. The bin file is your firmware file. The file below that, this is the software tool that you need to install. Over here on the right side is the installed Uniden software download tool. Open this up, and here's the software. On the tool, select Auto Connect. So after waiting for about a minute, it still didn't connect. I'm going to have to download the USB driver and install it. Now this is a new PC that I'm using, so I've never done any upgrade on the Uniden with this PC. I'm going to close the tool, download the USB driver, and here's the file. Extract it. If you have a 64-bit operating system, install the 64-bit version. Now reconnect the USB cable to the radar detector. Open up the tool again. As you can see, it's connected now. The version is 1.37. Select Open to choose your firmware file. With the new firmware file selected, you'll see the new UI version will be 1.48. The DSP version is 2.07. The GPS version is 1.14. Now you can select Start Download. If you see a failed message, try again. Now while the unit is being upgraded, let's have a look at the radar detector. As you can see, the display is off, but the unit is communicating with the PC and it's going through the upgrade. Download complete, select OK. Now if you look at the current version section, you'll see it's now reading version 1.48. So we know the unit has been updated. Go ahead and close the software. Now you can disconnect the data cable. With the unit updated, there's one more thing you need to set, and that is to perform a factory reset on the unit. Let's power this on. Now if you don't have the ability to power this on in your home, you can reset it in your car. Also, if you have some custom setting that you've made on the unit, you want to go through the settings and make a note of all the settings because when you do a factory reset, it will erase all those settings. To do the factory reset, press a menu button. Menu. Press a volume minus button several times. See the version is version 1.48 now. Keep pressing the volume minus button. 
until you get to factory reset. Press the menu button. Factory reset completed. Now you can go back in and set your own custom settings. And this is how you update the firmware on your Uniden R3 radar detector. I hope you find this video useful. And remember to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.